Alright guys, welcome back to Red Dead 2. Um, this is episode 31. We just killed Flaco Hernandez, the gun gunslinger who was up here in the mountains uh, in the Grizzlies. Am Amberino. Amberino Grizzlies is where he was. It is 11.39am in the game. Mine is 6 degrees Celsius. We're going to head back um, to get the last remaining gunslinger. Um, I mean, we might have some others on the list. Um, holy fucking shitting cunt. Forgot about these fuckers. Ooh. Sorry about the language there, guys. Bit panic then. Might actually uh, skin these fuckers and uh, head back to camp first. Poor wolf pelt. But we got some meat off it that we can give to the camp. I don't think I could ever eat wolf. They're too close to dogs. I don't like killing them, but when they're coming at you, you know, what can you do? I said it in a couple of episodes ago, it's kind of annoying that um It's kind of annoying that like a lot of the upgrades for camp you've got to um i don't think we'll be able to upgrade camp with any of these anyway because i think they've got to be perfect they have to be perfect in perfect condition um but yeah it's just a shame that like a lot of the upgrades that you've got to do that you well that you can do you have to kill animals to get them yeah, I just try and pick up what I can without going specifically hunting for a, for a certain animal. Yeah, can't wait to get out of these mountains because half is cold. Even though he's got a shirt on, a hat, gloves and a coat. It's got wool on the inside, by the way. I can see that wool on the inside, Arthur. So don't give me that shit saying that you're cold. It's back up to minus 10 now. Could now be a good idea. We head on back to camp first. We're gonna. Hmm. No, we're not actually gonna need to go past it. It doesn't really matter, actually. We can go. We'll go get this guy first. And then we'll have some missions to do anyway. We never know what we might encounter along the way. Just kind of think, is this pelt going to get in rough condition though? Do you know what I mean? Like, it's already not quite... Oh, got a stranger over there anyway. So we need to go and help out or something. So yeah, I'll head back to camp first, guys. Then all the stuff that I've got, I can donate to the camp and... Oh shit. You wait there boy. Girl even. Boy. Oops. <laughs> Where is he? A duck. 
rape me. Oh, good wolf pals, so there we go. Yeah, it's a good idea to go back to camp first then. Because look, you cannot harvest all of these parts as you do not have space to stow them. By pressing X to discard unwanted items, we can free up some more space. Oh, I just went fucking head over heels. Falling. Oh, is that? I thought it was a wolf then. See you in a bit, dude. Be careful. Be careful. Canned pineapples. Christ, I tell you what, Arthur. You're better fed than me sometimes, mate. <laughs> Damn. Nice, dude. Right, let's give my horse a bit of... There you go, girl. At least the wolf pelt on her, the three lots of wolf pelts she's got on her, should keep her a bit warm. literally just went face first down a mountain it's like oh shit Arthur no right we're not too far away from coming out of all this now anyway shouldn't be take us too long the plan is we'll head on back to camp we'll store these items and whatnot give Pierce and the pelts let's see what he can do with them it would be good if, like, do you know how sometimes it wants quality, like, perfect condition pelt? It would be good if you could do, like, one times perfect pelt or, and, like, two times good pelt and, like, three or five times poor pelt and then you'd still be able to craft. Like, that would make, that would, like, kind of make sense as well. Because then even your poor pelt is getting some use I wonder why it always snows on the mountains. But then there's areas in Red Dead where it's like red hot. Oh, what was that? Must have been a snake. It's okay. I always miss the snakes. There we go, look. All sorted. Don't want him to see me. We're not friends anymore. We're not. 
Okay. They won't forgive you. Uh -uh. They, they didn't forgive me. There is no forgiveness. None, friend. None. I, I know you want it. I can smell it on you. It looks like Gollum. Well, it didn't happen. No, 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 it didn't. That's why, that, that, that's why I'm out here, well away from it. Hmm. They come for me, but I'm watching. Okay. I, I never sleep. I never do. Right. You fucking mad dad. Right, let me get well away from him. Well, I press Y to get onto my horse. Because usually I press Y when I'm by him and then end up grappling him. I <sighs> don't want to do that. I just want to get on my horse and go. Let's get this pelt back to camp. Seem a bit dodgy, don't they? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I think the the thing is with the game, like when you're on your way, see, we had a big journey going up to their mountains to kill Flacco. And I think, I think the thing is with it, is like, it, it doesn't really take too long. It's just that, that you get that distracted by other things that happen along the way. And I'm not complaining. This isn't a complaint at all. It's just like, it's an observation really. Because I think, God, sometimes it takes you ages to get to some places. But I think like, well, probably all the distractions that you get along the way. Because like, it's very easy to get, um... I find that with the game, I'm a very easily distracted person. So if I see somebody on the side of the road that needs help or something, I'll I'll go investigate it. Or you know, all the the random little events that occur, I'll go and investigate them. Like because I'm just really curious in that way. So I'll be on my way to do like you know a, an an objective or a mission or whatever. And um, but if anything happened along the way, I'd definitely investigate it. See what I mean? Right, let me just cl get closer to the thing. I remember doing this on my other account. And the trick with it is... You stay there now. The trick with it is, you got to move slowly like this. And then when you get close enough to be able to start speaking to it because he's a bit of a horse whisperer our author is he's, he's a, he is a bit right we're almost there now that's what you've got to do is just don't you dare She'll start coming over in a minute. It's fine.
and then you just gotta just gotta keep tapping a lot of Aw, she probably needs a bit of food. Aw, yeah, I think she needs some food. Can I feed it? Ah, there we go. There we go. She's a better nip now. She might want a bit of a, a brushy brush as well. Yeah, I think that's what's up with it. Just need some food and a bit of love. Oh, this is really nice of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please accept my thanks as a reward. I won't forget this. Sure, Mister. Thanks, dude. You see what I mean by you know just going off and helping people like that. That's what I like to do. I thought it was starting to get late. <laughs> My dog is literally so cute. I sort of talked to you by the way. He's like he's just literally coming in my room. I realised I didn't explain that. Sometimes I forget that I don't do face cam. I just kind of picked my dog up, put him on the bed, and he just kind of he's been snoring for a while. I just kind of looked at him and he was like, just looked up at me like, he's oh he's so cute. It's funny though, isn't it? How like, I don't know. You speak to your dog like I don't know, kind of I I know like. I don't know if it's just like my family, but we all just speak to the dog like, like he's a child. It's <laughs> he is a cute little aren't you, mate. Oh, no, he's just chilling. I, to be fair, I usually have to say like as a disclaimer, like if you pick up any background noise, it's my dog. As you can hear, probably he grunts quite a lot because he's a French bulldog. Um, it's funny, you know, because a lot of people like. He had to go to the vets earlier this week because he's got an ear infection. Um, and so, like, we were in the vets and, like, this woman was saying, like, how her friend has got one and she brought it, she took she took it to her house. She's got another dog, um, like a different type of dog. And she said, like, because of the grunting, a lot of people mistake it for, like, growling or you know like it being like host hostile and I've had that with him quite a lot actually when I've been walking him and people go for pet him and like oh is he friendly with that noise is he is he growling I'm like no nah, he's, he's not growling it's just it's just grunting because his like mouth is sh um his face is kind of squashed in in a way it sounds really mean when you say it like that but it no it's just true though isn't it 
Um, but yeah, we'd speak to him like we'd call him Oski and call him Cutie, and it, oh, he's just is he, he loves it though. That's the thing. He he genuinely just loves it. Dutch, fuck off. Hey, Bill. I have such a sore throat coming on. It's not good, guys. Look at this stuff that I need. Perfect, 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 perfect. Right, John's lodging. Perfect ball. Camp tables. Perfect prong horn. The chop wagon. Perfect. Main campfire. Perfect. Like, you've got to go out hunting for it to get perfect. Takes the pee. I'm gonna go the long way around. Real shame about them calendar boys, I reckon. <laughs> oh, the funds have gone up a little. I think we left it on 107. Now taken up to 130. See, like, Arthur's got the money to buy stuff for the camp. Like, we could use all the camp funds and then Arthur puts the rest to it. And I think we could afford both then. What is it that we'll owe on? Oh, medicine. Yeah, I'll buy that. Rip Mac. Hello. Oh, my throat is so sore. Not good, guys. I want to carry on recording, though. That's the thing. I don't do myself any favours. We're going to get a good 11 hours sleep. I'm going to go hunt some... Not hunt, but go search for some of the fucking gunslinger. What's up, bossy boy? Oh my god, he's got his back to me now. How rude. The cheek. Dude. Literally, he just doesn't care. Another journal entry. I bet that's going to be about what's his face. Flacco. Oh, what was that? <laughs> oh, his hair's not too bad. You look okay, Arthur. Right, we need to go and head out and get this dude who's up here, isn't he? Yeah. Emmett Granger. And then um, next episode, guys, we'll crack on with the story, I think. I'm going to... Right, I felt rude not speaking. Oh, my horse is dirty. Yeah. 
I can't believe this dog is really sitting behind me, like on my bed. He has the cheek after I let him come sit in my room to, <laughs> to ghost on me. He's just got his back to me like, nah, I ain't speaking to you, girl. Rude, Oscar. Rude. <laughs> he just doesn't care. Yep. It shouldn't take us too long to get up there anyway, obviously if nothing happens along the way. I bet some of you watch these playthroughs and whenever you see a random event happening you're like, oh no, don't do it, don't do it, don't, don't do it Kim, don't do it, and I just go and do it. And you guys are like, no, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Gotta be almost there now. I think he's up close to um, Emerald. Yeah, the Heartland. Yeah, I think he's close to like Emerald Ranch Way. We've been all over the map for this motherfucker. Here he is, I think. Yeah. Hi, you. Howdy. You Granger? That's my name. My occupation, too, if you hadn't noticed. Weren't always like that, though, were you? Used to be a quick draw guy. You knew Jim Boy Calloway? Used to be's correct. Then there's a long old one. And who might <laughs> you be? Don't matter. I need you to tell me about Jim Boy. Just a quote for a book. A book about Jim Boy? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I can't talk to you now. Look at me. I'm knee deep in hog crap. You don't mind me. You can talk while you work. <laughs> I ain't talking and shoving. Besides, a young man like you get it done in half the time. I don't know about that. What's to know? You interested in the old lady? If you shovel this shit, I tell you some stories. You keep your hands clean, I don't give you squat. God damn it. These better be some stories. Mm -hmm. Oh, they are. Pick up the fork and get to work. Or get out of here and stop oh. wasting my time. Can I hear me out this? One minute. Shovel your damn shit. Jim Boy weren't nothing, you know. Me? I killed men, women, and children, too. Animals. I even killed rocks. And I killed them good. I shot folks, stabbed folks, skinned folks. A scalp sword. Boy, they scream when you scalp them. Hey, let me work. Don't know what's got into these hogs, but I know what's coming out of them. <laughs> I bash folks, butcher folks. I burn folks alive. Bury folks alive. One time, I... I get it, all right? 
have no idea, girlie. But a feminine type like you, I'd probably have chopped your head off, stuffed you, Bruh. eaten you like a sausage. No doubt. Now it's clean enough to eat off. Uh, I guess I'm done. You get that barrel to the shit pile, and I suppose you is. All right. No shortage of shit round here. Comes from hungry hogs and no hands. Uh, hell, uh, that stinks. <laughs> okay, I cleaned up your mess. Go on, tell me about Callaway. I said I'd tell you stories. I didn't say they'd be about him. Don't trifle with me, old man. You knew him. Just give me something, anything. You making a book? You should make it about me. They're just words. So, give me something to say and I'll leave you alone. You owe me there. Hey, you be careful. A killer like me, it don't take much to end up on the end of my knife. One hey, time... You know I... what? I don't think you were anything at all. Just a crazy old man. I ain't a killer. Arthur has really nice eyes. You ought to be hog feet. I hadn't made a deal with the Federals got this far. This is your last chance, Mr. Granger. Give me a quote from the book. Hey, hey, you don't, you don't handle man to be no government witness. Galloway said you was full of piss, but he didn't tell me the half of it. I'm itching to drop you, girlie. Only you ain't worth my time. I, I got too much to lose. Too much to lose? Well, seeing as I cleaned up this big star, I figure I'm in my rights to wreck it. Let's see. You don't want to do that? You walk away right now. Well, well. All I wanted was a quote. You don't know who you're trifling with. That's my stick! Stick it on him. Oh, Arthur, I like your thinking. There you go. No. 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 You did not. Oh, Grim. Took yourself a regular shit shower, Mr. Granger. Boy, that's real nasty. You earned yourself a killer. Oh, this is gonna I'm make gonna a enjoy it now. proper oh, good photo. Last thing you do. Okay. Was that all he had on him? Renowned killer. Oh, he got a wedding ring. <laughs> Job done. I kind of feel sorry for his animals, though. Pick up his repeater. Nah, I think ours is better. E pure hasn't got shit, has he? He ain't got a thing. But what's up here? No, he's got nothing. There's not even like a lock box or anything. Just that carbine repeater which we've already got actually. What about in here? Oh, oh a harmonica. Ah, okay. Oh yeah, I forgot that she wanted one, didn't she? Canned vegetable. Right, we've got some eating to do here, all. Arthur. Alright, obviously he doesn't want us to have him. We'll go give the harmonica to what's her name. It's okay, pigs. Calm down. They'll probably be better off now anyway. Alrighty then guys, so that's another one done. Um 
Let's go on. I don't want his gun, by the way. I've I've really liked the ones. Flacco's is really cool. And Billy Midnight. He seemed like a loser, that guy. So yeah. I don't really want his gun. Fla I think out of all of them, Flacco and um, Black Bell were the best. Like Bell was cool. We never actually managed to get anything off her either. I possibly should have stuck around, but I just remember from the first time hey there, I did Bob. it that um, when I was looting all the bodies and stuff, some a load more of them like bounty hunters came, and I think I'm pretty sure I ended up dying. There was that many more when you've not got Bal by your side. You know, it's a bit tough when you're on your own against a load of bounty hunters. Because, yeah, I didn't search her house. But it's cool. There, mister. I'm going to head on back to camp. Give Sadie what she wants. And then we'll see. <laughs> that sounds really rude. No, we'll give Sadie the harmonica. She requested one as an item request, and uh, then work out if we're gonna help John, Dutch, Hosea, or whoever else needs help for these the next story mission. I'll have a look at the caption to each mission and see which one would make more sense to do first unless of course we have any other little side missions to do for strangers no, I don't quite think we do oh hey look who it is I'm still picking the dust out from my teeth so what do you say we go again? First one to Caliga Hall. How could I say no? Ready? Let's go. Oh, race. Couldn't work out what I'd done. I was like, I was getting ready to draw on her, not gonna lie. I was like, shit, this bitch is gonna kill me. Go on, Storm. Let's go, girl. You're a good girl. Oh, I just killed some of the things. Yeah. Fuck knows what. Oh no, she's making... She's ganging up on me. She is proper ganging up on me. God, we are proper ducking and weaving in these fucking trees. See, we're in the lead, but not by much. Oh my god. She's gonna beat me. She's gonna beat me, she is. She's gonna beat me. Look at my awesome stamina. Her horse is so pretty. Good race. Could have gone either way. I wish things were different. Go ahead. <laughs> hey, partner.
I need to inspect. We're gonna go back to camp, give Sadie her request anyway. I need to inspect all the other documents I've got because Strauss said, we said when we saw Strauss we'll crack on with the other stuff. But I don't know. Quartz chunk. The fuck? Thanks, partner. What am I supposed to do with that? <laughs> Give it camp. Okay, then, girl. What the hell? What's a quartz chunk? What on earth? Every chunk of quartz used used to craft a unique item at the fence. What is that? What is quartz? Dead clueless. Alright, let's head back to camp. Donate our stuff. Have a look at what else we can do side quest wise. If there isn't really anything else properly, I'm not up for going fishing around everywhere. That I feel like that would be really boring for you guys. Um, might do that in my own time. I might just kind of do that if I stumble across an area where there's like legendary fish or something hey we'll go give this to Sadie because she is like Arthur's kind of bae Might do the mission with Dutch because I don't know. We'll have to finish up after I've done this anyway, after we've worked yeah. out what we're going to do next. Because we are almost 45 minutes in. Good morning. $68, that's not bad. Alright. Where you at, bitch? She's up there somewhere. I think it's because she was sitting down. Couldn't do like a proper little cut scene out of it. Never mind, eh? So. Probably go give that to come. First. to give some of my own money now get some more upgrades but then I think nah no do you know what I won't bother right let's come away from this there we go documents so we've got cigarette cards one right I think we're supposed to get another five more okay Again, one out of five. Okay. And we got letters, a letter to blah blah blah. Yeah, bubble or to write temper sweet on me, blah blah blah. Okay, so that doesn't unlock anything. Um Letter from Mary. Next. 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 Next, what's on the back of that? Flip it. Right, so that's all the letters done. And we got cigarette cards, treasure maps, receipt, 
recipe even cigarette cards business cards cigarette cards notes next go back flip it next flip it next Chick Matthews, I swear I've already sorted all them fuckers out. Flip it. Next. Let me go back on that. No. There's no more debtors that I can see on here. Books. Newspapers. Handbills. Don't get confused. Photographs, we've done all of them. And then his, his journal. So, yeah, I can't see any more debtors that we're supposed to get. Um, come in the map here. I can't see any at all. So we must have done them. There's no bounty posters anywhere. There's the... No. 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 No, so there's no bounty posters anywhere. I wonder why we're not allowed here, Fort Wallace. What's the deal with that? I wonder. Um but yeah, next up then we've got mi we have got missions to do. So we've got a mission with Dutch. Dutch asked you to find out more about why the bounty hunters, a, a more a, more about the bounty hunters that Trelawney mentioned. Lenny, Lenny needs to speak to you. Forgiveness, preaching, blah blah blah. Sounds like a load of shit. Um, Hosea, Dutch told you to meet up with Hosea and Sean at Braithwaite Manor while they invest it it ingratiate themselves investigate themselves like an idiot dutch told you to meet up with john and javier at the gray's place something to do with braithwaite's prize horses so it's like mm, the thing with lenny seems not really relatable with the other stuff so like we could help lenny out i reckon next up we'll go see lenny and then do the other stuff after but um that's all from me for now anyway guys that's all for this episode thank you all very much for watching um if you made it through to the end please leave a like rating on the video and of course subscribe if you're not already subscribed and with all of that being said i'll see you guys in the next episode